In this video, we're going to find the area of the surface generated by rotating y equals x cubed about the x-axis from 0 to 1. OK, so first things first, our area is going to be equal to uh, the integral of 2 pi y to start off with. Now, I'm going to bring the 2 pi outside of the integral between 0 and 1 of y, which is x cubed, times by the square root of 1 plus dy by dx squared. So dy by dx is 3x squared. So when I square with that, I'm going to get 9x to the 4. So 1 plus 9x to the 4 dx. So this is the integral I need to evaluate. Now, the convenient thing here is that inside my square root, I've got this 9x to the 4. This differentiates to a multiple of x cubed. So I know I can use reversing the chain rule or integration by substitution. Let's just use reversing the chain rule. So all, the way I always think about this is uh, this is 1 plus 9x to, to the 4 all to the power of a half. So if I added 1 to the power, I would have that. And if I differentiate this with respect to x, I'm going to get the derivative of 9x to the 4, which is 36x cubed, multiplying with the 3 halves. So 36 uh, times by 3 halves is 54. So I'd have 54, uh, 1 plus 9. Oh, sorry, I've got the x cubed coming out as well, haven't I? 54 uh, x cubed, rather, 1 plus 9x to the 4. Uh, to the power of a half. Okay, so if that differentiates to that, then this will integrate to 1 over 54 times that. So I've got the 1 over 54, I've got the 2 outside, so I can bring out the 1 over 54 and have 2 over 54, which is 1 over 27 pi. And then I've got the 1 plus 9x to the 4 to the power of 3 halves, evaluated between 0 and 1. OK. So now I've got to substitute in the 1. So I've got 1 over 27 pi times by. So I'm going to get 1 plus 9, so 10, to the power of 3 halves, which my calculator doesn't like. So uh, the trick I showed in the previous video was if we square root the 10 first and then cube it, we get 10 root 10. So it write, the calculator can write it exactly. But it has difficulty if you just substitute, uh, put 10 to the power of 3 halves straight in your calculator. Then substituting the 0, we're going to get 1 to the power of 3 halves. So take away 1. And yeah, that's as nice as I can write my answer. So this is the exact area of the surface generated uh, by rotating y equals x cubed about the x-axis from 0 to 1.